never filmed like in the middle of my room before. Hello everyone, what's up? Not gotten my camera yet as you can see from the quality of this video. Very excited to make this video because this is kind of a long awaited video about my fitness journey and where I am currently at right now, where I was a couple months ago, how I got to where I'm at right now. I hate filming on my phone because I get so many notifications. No. I put my phone on airplane mode so I would not get any notifications while I'm trying to film this video for you guys most of you guys know i'm having camera issues right now so just bear with me this video was very very requested within the last couple weeks today as most of you guys know um my body looked different a couple months ago i have some things jotted down that i want to share with you guys i want to talk about basically where i was a couple months ago physically mentally um what i was doing then and then i'm gonna briefly talk about what i'm doing now I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible. Before December started, after Count Vlognog, I told myself that I wanted to be a little bit more strict with my eating. I wanted to change um, my workouts completely. I wanted to change everything I was doing completely because I was in a rut and I was stuck. I was done with doing cardio. Like I was just so over my whole entire workout. I wasn't feeling good with myself at the time. I just knew I could be doing better, you know? I knew what I had to do in order to be where I wanted to be. Mid-December or kind of towards the end of December. But basically like when I started the new year, um, 2019, I was like, you know what? I'm changing everything. And one of those things that I wanted to change completely was cardio. Let know if you guys keep updated with me on Snapchat or on Instagram. Um, you guys know that I would do cardio every day. I would do like 20 minutes of cardio every day. I would do 30 minutes of cardio every day, pretty much six days a week. I'd get one rest day out of the week. Sometimes I wouldn't even give myself rest days because I was just like, no, like I have to go get my cardio in. Or maybe like September, October, November, December. I, I was focusing a lot on cardio. I wasn't really focusing a lot on weightlifting. I would weight train, but I would probably weight train seriously maybe two times a week and the other days i would just do cardio based things so i would try to do hit i would do the bike i would do just stuff like that when i hit the beginning of the year kind of like last week of december i was like you know what like i am so tired of doing cardio like cardio is just obviously not working for me it just i just was so over it so last year i was doing 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes of cardio six or seven days a week i would do maybe two to three days of weight training when i say weight training i wasn't training my whole body i was just training my lower body which was a really really big mistake of mine i was just doing compound movements so i was doing deadlifts squats stuff like that my workouts were pretty simple because they were just all compound movements i wasn't doing a lot of machine work i wasn't doing band work i wasn't doing any of that eating at the time was okay i was eating pretty clean I'd probably say i was eating clean five days a week and i would treat myself here and there um my eating was okay like i wouldn't say it's as clean as it is now but it wasn't also like i was eating like hella hella junk food party a lot i would go out a lot i would drink a lot so that's also another thing also back then um i was very very stressed all the time i was always stressed um i wouldn't sleep till like four in the morning would sleep super duper late um and then i would wake up super duper early to hit the gyms also not getting enough rest whatsoever um, I should have been getting more rest than what I was. Not only was I not resting, like not getting any sleep, but I wasn't even giving myself days off the gym either. Also, um, a little bit more anxious last year than than what I am um, currently, which I am so grateful for. That's just a little sum up of where I was at last year, pretty much. Um, maybe like beginning of summer to like maybe end of November. And now currently, things are a lot different. I decided that I wanted to change everything completely. I wanted to change the way I was eating. I wanted to change the way I was training. I wanted to change everything because I wasn't happy with what I was doing. It was kind of this routine and I was just doing it to do it, but I wasn't sure why I was doing it. So now I actually don't do any cardio at all whatsoever. The only cardio that I actually currently do is I go on hikes probably like twice a week. Um, and it's not even like anything super duper high intensity. It's probably like an hour hike up and down. I strictly weight train. 
um, I do four to five days a week so now I actually get rest days in I'm consistent with both upper body and lower body training so I make sure to hit upper body I make sure to hit lower body I try not to miss like a single part of my body like when I weight train I even weight train chest like I weight trained everything oh I also hit core so I was also not hitting core um, last year at all really I train abs um, pretty much every day even on my rest days I will get some ab workouts in ab workouts are like one of those things where like it's not super duper high intensity so you don't really have to go all out or you don't really have to go to the gym depending on what you do you can do them at home you know so a lot of accessory work um i do a lot of band work now it's not just compound movements so over compound movements like i wanted to do something different i wanted to do accessory work i wanted to do cable i wanted to use the machines i wanted to do stuff with dumbbells like i wanted to change it up completely so um yesterday and a couple days ago was actually my first time squatting in a long time and it was really cool to see that i actually still have a lot of my strength i squatted 195 which is pretty pretty good because my pr is 2 205 um now for my eating too i'm eating pretty clean i treat myself every now and then i do go out to eat every now and then with my boyfriend or my friends i drink wine i still have chocolate like i treat myself but it's very very moderate um and i also don't treat myself as often as i used to currently trying to cut out dairy completely i don't want to consume dairy anymore like whatsoever like no yogurt no cheese I don't really want to have ranch anymore like, you're not having dairy for a long time and then having it again it makes you realize all of the things all of the negative effects that dairy does to your body and how it makes you feel so I decided that I was gonna stop having dairy completely I literally had I think like cheese on a burger yesterday um, but I usually try not to have dairy it's I'm still struggling to cut it out completely because bitch a girl really likes cheese i just really don't like how it affects my body so yogurt dairy ice cream cream cheese ranch cheese any dairy products creamer like all of that type of stuff i'm trying to cut out um and for the most part it's pretty much out of my life um the only thing i consume every now and then is cheese um but like I said, I try not to because it just affects my body so bad. Like, I'll be in pain for, like, a couple hours and it's just the worst. Diet um, consists of a lot of fish and a lot of veggies. I try not to consume rice. I'm not really big on rice anymore. I used to love rice, but I don't consume rice anymore as, <sighs> as often as I used to. I try to get my carbs in through other stuff. Eating f whole fruits, whole vegetables um fish i love eating fish i love eating tuna if you saw my last video shout out to you another big thing that i cut out of my diet is drinking so i no longer drink beer um that's one of the things that i really 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 wanted to cut out of my diet um because beer i okay girl all i love beer okay i'm a very big beer advocate i love to drink beer i think beer tastes so good some people don't like drinking beer and i get it you know it is kind of bitter like some beers aren't good whatever but i love beer you know and i could drink beer like i wouldn't say that i had an alcohol problem because i didn't but i could drink a good like maybe five beers and just be chilling like i was good i love drinking beer i knew that that was also affecting my body very negatively and just drinking in general and just going out in general um so in december when i told myself i was gonna try to cut out drinking um as much the time i was fucked up was probably like a couple weeks ago but now since i don't drink as often as i did last year now i'm so lightweight so literally i'll have two drinks and i'll be like oh my god i'm so drunk i don't drink as often as i used to believe it or not beer and just drinking alcohol really does take a toll on your body not only that but the next day personally me i always feel like shit when i go out i still drink but i don't one i don't have beer two i try to pre-game at my house with like some some tequila or something so i try not to have too many mixed drinks i limit myself to two drinks every time i go out i cut out beer completely 
and I minimized my drinking. Clear choices when I eat, so just not getting all of that added stuff that you really don't need, all of the extra calories, the extra fats. Just making overall healthier choices with my meals. Another thing that I also am doing now is I am keeping track of all of the water that I am getting in so I try to make sure to get at least a gallon of water every day. Um, a lot of you guys are probably going to ask if I track. Um, I'm currently not tracking. I was tracking at the beginning of the year in January slash February. I tracked for like maybe like a week and a half or two weeks or once I got like a certain amount of meals that I could eat um, I was actually pretty fine like not tracking after that because after knowing like what meals worked for me and like what each meal had I didn't really feel the need to track anymore because I already knew like like I don't change my meals up you know like I'm not the type of person to have a different meal every day like I literally keep my meals the same for the most part after I tracked for like two weeks I just stopped tracking completely because I already had my set amount of meals that I that worked for me so I kind of went off of those meals when I was tracking um, I'm pretty sure if I was tracking currently I probably would be a lot leaner really would be a lot closer to my fitness to my fitness goals but I'm honestly chilling right now like I'm good with where I'm headed um, I'm in no rush really I'm just working towards the body that I want every day and just making sure that I make healthier choices I feel like some things to take into consideration when you're trying to lose weight is just keeping track of what you're eating and just keeping track of how active you are being calories in versus calories out um it's something very very important because if you are consuming more calories than what you are burning when you are being active you are not going to lose weight i don't know if that makes any sense i will google this and put like a little um, description or a little thing on the side so you guys get what I'm saying because I'm so horrible at explaining things sometimes but if you are consuming more than what you are burning you are not going to lose weight track of what you are eating is very very important with losing weight and slimming down you know the saying of like abs are made in the kitchen not at the gym it's like completely true like you are not going to get abs if you do not watch what you eat you know you can train abs all you want and obviously training them is going to help you get them but you also have to be watching what you eat at the same time it's like going to the gym is not going to help you whatsoever if you're eating like shit outside of the gym i know a lot of people including myself i used to struggle with this a lot um but i know a lot of people struggle with like eating bad and how like they get cravings or whatever and that's fine literally i get cravings all the time i love to eat chocolate literally hot cheetos were my shit last year but now like i'm obsessed with eating chocolate for some weird ass reason but i would binge eat like i would eat healthy for like four days and then i'd see the hot cheetos and i'd be like damn like those hot cheetos look so good and i would fucking eat the whole bag of hot cheetos instead of just having a couple and now what i do is if i instantly crave something i will just have it you know i won't put myself through that torture if i see something that i want to eat i'm going to have it like i'm not gonna prevent myself from having something because i already know myself and i already know that if i restrict myself from eating it completely i will binge in a couple of days and i will eat a whole bag or i will eat like 20 oreos you know what i'm saying treat yourself you know like don't limit yourself like if you want some hot cheetos have some hot cheetos but don't have a whole bag if you want an oreo have an oreo have two oreos but don't have fucking six oreos because everything adds up calories add up the fats add up i personally keep track of is my protein and my fats i don't want to go over fats and i want to make sure to hit my protein I personally struggle getting my protein in really really bad like I just don't eat enough meat I don't eat a lot of protein like it's just not something that I like I would for sure say that my diet is a little bit more plant-based the only thing that I truly do eat is like fish like I'll have tuna or I'll have salmon but I don't really crave red meat I don't really chicken is just so boring to me now that i literally don't even have chicken anymore like i literally don't crave that shit so it's like 
it's so hard for me to get my protein in so and protein is so important for the game so i make sure to track my protein i make sure to just not go over fat or to just weight train you know i make sure to put my all in when i work out i make sure to get all of my reps in my workouts in another thing that has been really really helping me is my watch so i use the pole 360 I think it's the Polar 360 watch. Um, I know that now they have a newer one. I, I know there's a really good Apple watch now that you can also purchase that helps you keep track of calories. I know at the time when I purchased this, this was the most accurate thing on the market. I don't know if the Apple one is a little bit more accurate now, but I know that this one was at the time. And honestly, like I only use it to track my training um and how much i'm burning and my heart rate so so this helps me just to keep track of my training Let's try to aim for around 500 to 600 calories per training session i do a lot of reps it's pretty high intensity what i do so i don't really have um i don't really struggle to like burn the calories that i want to burn it says that I am 110% to my goal. It shows you the footsteps that I've gotten in, and it shows you how many calories you've burned. You get an app with it on your phone. Helps a lot. I'm going to slim down overall. Like, you have to make sure to get your training, and you have to make sure to eat right. You have to make sure to cut things out that aren't necessary, you know. Get more water in. Now as well, I make sure to get sleep in. Like, I'm currently taking, taking CBD products. Um, at night before I go to sleep and it helps me sleep so good like it just helps me relax um, sleep is so important for the gains for losing weight you don't want to be under stress because all of this takes a toll on your body stress not getting enough sleep not getting enough water not training right like all of this your body is not going to react the way that you want it to so make sure to get some rest always try to get more sleep in like i said i take my rest days now i only go to the gym maybe five days a week i used to go six to seven days a week now i make sure to get my rest days in but muscle recover it's so important that's pretty much it it's not anything that's like rocket science um it literally is just stuff you probably already know and it's just me reminding you but that's literally all you have to do to just slim down and it really is not that hard it really is not that hard ourselves we just all make it hard on ourselves but dude like if i can do it you can do it too it's not that difficult like i said make sure to get sleep make sure to get your water in make sure to just put your all in when you're training watch what you're eating eat clean make meals at home don't get any of that added stuff on your food you don't need ranch you don't need cheese cut out dairy dairy is so bad for you i can do a whole video about how we shouldn't even be consuming dairy like i am so passionate about that whole like dairy industry thing like but that's like a whole nother video in itself. Watch your drinking. If you drink a lot, watch your drinking. I know you want to have fun, but girl, like, it's all kind of ultimately up to you, you know? Are you willing to make the changes to get your body to where you want it to be? Like, do you really want your body to change? Do you want to feel better mentally and physically? Do, are you willing to make the sacrifices and changes? to feel and look a certain way it's really all up to you you know this is all really in your hands and it's up to you if you want to make a change or not it's not rocket science i mean you probably already heard this before um but literally that's what i was doing then and this is what i'm doing now and literally it's not rocket science i mean it really is not that complicated um you got this you know don't be, don't feel discouraged it's just ultimately just how determined are you how bad do you want to change your physical appearance it's ultimately all up to you sister it's all up to you if you want to make the change you will make the change in your diet um you will get your sleep in you will get your water in all of that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for cooperating with me while i'm having camera issues really really appreciate it if you guys want me to make more of these videos go ahead and let me know like more of these chatty videos where i go into deeper detail about every single little thing you guys can let me know in the comments down below um or let me know if you guys have any other questions leave them to me in the comments and i will make sure 
to get back to you guys yeah that's pretty much all i have to say thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i'll see you guys later